Hi, my name is Dan DeVera, and I'd like to take a few minutes to show you why hot work should be drying out the refractory linings in your FCC unit. Since our inception in 1963, Hotworks highly trained and experienced technicians have serviced thousands of job sites all over the world. We do refractory dryouts, period. Our equipment and techniques have been perfected by the Hotwork professionals who created them. Innovative solutions and engineering to our clients' needs is just a normal part of Hotwork services. And the cat cracker dryouts have become our specialty. You invest hours of downtime and thousands of dollars to install those refractories with the expectation that they will last for many years to come. You carefully choose the best materials and the best refractory contractor. You give them the time necessary to do a great job installing those refractories. Yet many refineries proceed with a less than adequate method of curing those materials, either due to a lack of understanding of the significant benefits of the proper heat up or with the goal of saving a few hours or a few dollars on a turnaround schedule. A proper dry out and heat up of your FCC unit will preserve your investment for years to come. It's just smart business. Let me show you how it works. When you attempt to heat up your unit with the air preheater, you are introducing heat from the bottom of the regenerator and attempting to drive it throughout the entire system. But we know that for refractories to dry out and cure properly, they must be heated evenly and at precisely controlled rates of rise. You can see by our illustration that heating rates can be difficult, if not impossible, to control with your own inline plant equipment, and particularly so in some areas like the cat cooler or riser, for instance. You end up with some areas that are heated too quickly and other areas that see little heat at all. The results can be anything from merely detrimental to catastrophic. Spalling and cracking may show up in elevated skin temperatures immediately, in a few days, or in a few months. Even in the field joints, failure of refractories often require a premature or extended shutdown of the unit to affect repairs. And further, refractory suppliers and installers may not guarantee work that has not been heated and dried out properly. So, do you take a chance in trying to dry out and cure with equipment that was not designed to do that job? Or do you ensure the integrity of your investment with hot work equipment engineered and designed for your specific application? Hot work systems can attain the temperatures you need at the precise rate of heating prescribed by the refractory manufacturer. Our low turndown capability assures controlled heat up that is required. Our excess air capability assures that refractories will be heated evenly throughout the process with special attention to those hard to reach areas. Because heat is being introduced at multiple locations, your unit heats more evenly and more quickly. Make the smart decision. Give us a call. A hot work representative will discuss the specifications with you. We will visit the job site and assess your particular application. And then we will design and engineer a system and procedure to optimize your dryout. Go with the proven winner, hot work.